Hello everybody, it's your boy Mick Thick with another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. This episode we're going to be starting off by going over to this location here and we need to talk to Uncle and wake him up. Ow! To wake him up we're just going to kick him. not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> yeah, Uncle, make sure the horses are ready. We're so mean to this man. take the old man into town. You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> okay, girls, I'm letting you win, but don't make any noise, please, because I need to get somewhere. You girls better behave. Me and Uncle are always watching. Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. Let's go head out, boys. So we're taking the trolley, we're taking Uncle, we're taking the ladies with us, and we're heading on out, going to the city in Valentine. So take a left at these rocks here, follow the path, and according to the map, we must head all the way to the city over here. It's not that far, but we will make it. Just takes a couple of minutes. Let's move on out. It looks like a trolley is passing us right ahead of us. And it looks like those horses are getting out of control. What's happening? Oh, they're going back and forth on the road. Oh, and the horses disconnect. No. He's going away. I need to help out this man. He's Oh, he's waving. Don't worry, Wham, and I'll get it. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really. So we must speak You're to right the there, coach bro? driver. Let's just wait for him to come on down. Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Let's see. I will help you. Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Don't worry. I know what white is. I'm going to get over to your horse. Oh, calm down, horsey. Calm down. We're just going to crouch up closer to him, or her, I do not know the gender. So let's calm him down. Easy there, easy. Easy. You're okay. Come on, just calm down, little horsey. It's okay. I'll pat you and make you calm down. Good boy. Oh, good boy, good boy. There you go, we patted him and now we can lead him back to uh, the other guys. So come with me, horsey, and we'll lead you back to your home. It's a nice big white horse. Oh, that's a nice one this man's got. So we're just going to take the horse back, connect it with the other one. The guy will be on his way and I'll be on my way. Gentlemen, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. No, I was just. So we helped out the man. He's gonna get his horses back on track, and I'm gonna get back on my wagon here with the boys and the ladies. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. Don't worry, we're going to Valentine. Calm yourself down. We're on our way. Godmother, there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old blizzard. Blizzards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, you lot hadn't been here, 
I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> yes, I saved this man because there were are women about, and when women are about, you gotta do good things to impress them. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure yeah, there's a lot of snow in those mountains up ahead. Nice, nice, nice. Come with us. Oh no, Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us, or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay, take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. So we're entering the town of Valentine. There's lots of stores everywhere that we can go shopping at, but we barely have any money. We have like $25. Can't afford anything with that. So we're gonna leave the buying things for later in the game. Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Come on, bud. Now? Get out of the way. I'm trying to park here, man. Out of the way. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put those women to work. They're going to try to get money for the boys. Okay, and then me and Uncle are, are going to do something together. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Yeah, we'll see you at the store once you finish your work, ladies. Come on. So, that's so we are now yourself. following Uncle to go to the one of these maniac. shops. Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. So we're gonna head in this store called Koo's Company. Head on inside. So, what do you need? Hell, or drop a whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog. So you're telling me I should buy some coffee? The Here's the door. Is there coffee around this place? So that's some horse reviver. Don't need any of that right now. Gun oil, no, please. Pocket watch. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Oh wait, on the map it says the coffee should be on the wall over here. So if we take a look, ground coffee. Will we, we will buy one. So you're actually buying for once. Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. Cost one dollar okay. to buy that if coffee, done, and I still have one hundred eighty-six dollars and ninety cents, which is not that bad. So we're gonna go meet outside. We'll meet Uncle there in a second, but let's just do that now. Here's to your good health, my sir. Thank you, brother. <sighs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. As to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. 
Sounds good. Uh, where's Tilly and Ken? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Okay, so I see one of my old girls. She's being attacked by a darker-skinned man. I will not accept this, so I gotta go help her out. What are you doing to my girl, bud? Hmm? 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 Let's intervene. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. Yeah, you better scram, buddy. You're making a big mistake. No, you're making a big mistake. If you don't leave now, I gotta kill you. I ain't doing this with you right now. Oh, no, you not. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Yeah, no worry. I saved you. I saved you. Now you owe me one, but that'll be for another time. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. So, like, so we have to search the hotel for Karen. This looks like this is the hotel. So let's enter the building. Can I help you, there we go. Now, can we talk to this man? I do not think so. But we must search this building. How about we go on head upstairs? She might be in one of those rooms there. No trouble now, please. Don't worry, I'm not going to cause you any trouble. That door is locked. Can't get in there. Oh, but we're opening up this door here. And some guy's pooping. I'm sorry, buddy. My bad, my bad. You should at least lock your doors when you're taking a poopoo. Poopy. What about this door here? I'm gonna open it up. But it's locked. Gonna kick the door open. Let's go. And kick. What are you doing to my girl? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. I'm gonna kill. Oh, you wanna scrap? I'm gonna kick you until you die. There you go. You're done. Now salute his body. Nice. Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. Oh, There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay, up there? okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Okay, thank you. So I've saved my girl Clary, and she's good for now. Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Oh. Arthur punched him a lot harder. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, I was not. No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah, yeah Uncle, get those girls safely home, and I need to chase off this man. We need to chase the man from Blackwater, so we're gonna chase this man down. He has no chance of getting anywhere. We're gonna chase this man down. We're gonna have to kill him if we have to, but we need to interrogate this man. Move out of the way, bud. How about we equipped our lasso here quickly? And we need to take this man down. So let's get as close as we can to him. Come on, man. You're pretty fast, but I'm fast too. Oh, I didn't even have to use the lasso. We're getting off my horse. I'm going to deal with the man from Blackwater. What are we going to do? We're, let's question him. Why are you telling lies about me? No. No, I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now, please pull me up. Please. Just should I aim on. the weapon? Should I help him or should I kill him? I'll help him. I'll be a good boy. All right, come on. 
Man, you better not tell any lies about me or else I'm gonna kill you. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Yes, I am. Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I That's think right. I have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. That's not right. One sense in this year old mind. You better get out of here. This mission has Go been complete. Polite Go society yeah, has been completed. Now, a horse blipped with your thing is your temporary horse. Okay, so I guess this oh, is our temporary horse. It got changed for some, right, some reason. But no matter the fact. So where are we right now? We're, we're down here. By that, and that mission has been complete. And the other missions would to be... Oh, I don't even know what this goes way down there. That's cool. There's a little yellow... Oh, that's a, that's a LE. How about we put a marker there? Put our waypoint there. And we can head there for right now. That'll be the next mission that we do in this episode. So let's head on there, boys. Get him to travel there and see what the quest is that he wants us to do. What whoever wants us to do it this time. So we're gonna travel back through the town of Valentine, go back to my people, and see what is needing to be done in this world. Okay, so it looks okay. Slow down, horses. Slow down. I'm in the area where I need to find a mission to be accepted. <laughs> and we need to find who we need to talk to. And it looks like this man over here Arthur, needing to talk. Arthur, come here. Come here. Come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Those are big well, jugs. Well, you're just a tough as teak mountain man. Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, a regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. There hey, he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, Are you about pal? to kiss that guy? Oh, it looks like a fight's about to go down. Oh, watch where you're going. Take it easy, Are you about pal? to kiss that guy Take it or easy, punch huh? him? Oh, and he hits him right in the head. Oh, and now all the boys are starting to get into this fight. This is a real man sport now. Let's get into this. We need to throw some punches. There we go. Punch, punch, kick in the nutsack. And you're going to go down, buddy. I don't want to deal with you, but I'm going to... Oh, you think you can mess with... Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it. Press R to block. Punch. No, I do not like it when... Oh, stop that. Please, I need you to stop it. Okay, you want to go... I will fight you until... Okay, we got one. Health. Oh, yes. We gotta pick up our hat here. We don't want to lose that. A special item here. So we gotta defeat these brawlers. They're hurting my boys, so I need to fight them back. Just punching them in the face. Oh, what's happening? Oh, big man's coming down. Ooh, oh, you do that to me. I, that means I gotta kill you. So I gotta break free. So let's spam F. 
Come on, keep spamming that. Spam it, spam it. Punch him in the gut. Elbow him in the gut. There we go, keep going. There we go, get off me, buddy. Punch to the face and you're done. So we gotta save Xavier. Oh, you do not touch my boy, bud. I'm about to kill you because you hurt my brother. Oh, oh, okay, you made my hat fall off again. You know what that means. Okay, you throw me through the window. That's not nice at all. Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy, you're kidding me. Pretty boy? Oh, you want to fight. Okay, stop that. You keep throwing me like that. So we... R is blocked. Okay. Oh, no, stop. Stop it. Oh, there we go. We got a nice hit there. Get ready to block. There we go. We blocked. Oh, no. Block, block. Okay, you cannot do that, my friend. Stop. I blocked. Oh, you keep choking me by the neck. And all these people are just watching, doing nothing about it. Oh, okay, that really hurts, my friend. Cannot keep doing that, but I need to take you out. There you go, punch, punch, punch. Oh, block, come on, I'm blocking here. Oh, and you choke me again. Okay, buddy, this is a fight for the win. Ooh, no, oh, you can't just keep doing that. Get up, Arthur. No, no, do not do this to me. I need to break through out of this hold. I'm gonna keep on jabbing you, there you go. And throw the punches, there we go. And let's throw some, okay, and we blocked. No, this, this really hurts. Okay, we gotta get up, we cannot lose this fight. We gotta break through free of this. There you go, get off me, but I kick you in the nutsack and you're down. And I will take you out. So let's beat him. We're gonna beat Tommy to death. Because this is what he asked for. This is what he's gonna get. Punch. Punch. He's gonna be so in pain after this. He's gonna be a dead man. Just look stop, at his face. Stop! Please! Please! I beg you. Stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Yeah, get out of my way, fools. I did not start this fight, but I will end it. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found, sniffing hey, it's about. Dutch. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. <laughs> how are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Javier and Charles! I've missed you! And Bill, looking as well as can be? Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles? Go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Okay, I just cleaned my face up. My suit is still dirty, but we are ready to go and meet out the boys. But this mission has been complete. Americans at rest. And that is all good. And we have some couple more missions that we have to do. Like there's a there's three there, and there's one there, and then the whole other map is there. But we got lots of missions to do there. And there's something there. But that'll be for next episode. That's it for this episode, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. My name is Mick Thick, and I'll see you in the next episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Bye-bye.